All right, Valhalla, what you got for us? So now Jill wants a Daruma. So I guess we'll go that. And I need to have 8,000 in the bank for the 24th, which, holy shit. Oh, that's like a, well, that's a long ass time from now. Okay. Uh, Daruma, 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 Daruma. Yosh. Yeah, a little Daruma. There's the dildo trophy. So it was a dick. Back from when we were talking about it at the beginning of the game. Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. She doesn't want that shit. Don't your trash. All right. Let's see what's on the D. Let's check the D. Apollo Bank is getting attacked. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Ogman and I talked about it very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to the road art. That road article. That rogue article. It's from Kim. She was trying to write serious shit, but I think AE got tired of her. Fucking shame. All we get is clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse. White Knight said there's a lot of people inside the building. Last three people are already dead. How? Is someone shooting people? Looks like it was security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Weird as fuck. Come on, Insider Anon, you gotta give us more. Do my best here. Thanks, based Anon. This road is closed. Explosion registered. And media's still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So, more bombs, not just one? Do not have any clue on how it's doing this? It's a group, a new group looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, but it's not a group, just one person. Pretty ballsy. Rumors are that Alice Rabbit are involved. A hacker trying to help hostages escape. Ooh. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet. Hiccups. It's actually being useful. Ken confirmed the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those are nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, pretty unsettling. Files available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and the White Knight operations. It seemed the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages toward the server inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. God, that shit sounds whack. That is intense. So there's a shadow run going on. It's so funny, this is like the the back end of a shadow run, right? Like we don't get to see any of the action. We just see all of the stuff that people are talking about. Danger use admin has been arrested. Again. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger U, the new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin known as Furfur for a second time. We have no details to give other than he was part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime unit Lizette Blanc told the augmented eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Fairfair would only respond with a calm, not this shit again. Nano Camo is now making smart underwear. If underwear you can change with a voice command or something you always want in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change the look of the spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Just change its color to black and you'll barely notice. Won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. Jesus Christ. Get out of here. Nerps. Pant panty nerps. GSF January 4th card announced. 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke headlining. Oh no, it's a giant Yosuke. Run! Run in fear, everyone! He's crushing everything! Ah! Giant Yosuke! The blood feud between Giant Yosuke. I know it's Yusuke. Giant Yosuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th, the annual GSF Dome event. It's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the Great DK and Aaron's. I love the Great Danky Kang. Full card below. 66 American Kid versus Giant Yosuke. Uh, Red Comet Jr. versus Nagisa. Akito versus the Great Danky Kang. Roya Campbell versus Aaron's. Jack Bomb and Blaze versus Juli and Caracolta. Osuna versus Siegfried. Cool. I got anything new? No. OK. 
Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go to work. Yeah, Red Comet, wasn't Red Comet the, Red Comet was the boss's name, right? Interesting. This is, um, I feel like Mass Effect and Fallout and The Witcher and like big RPG devs should really take a look at this game. Uh, they could learn a lot about subtle changes to narrative or conversation. Like, none of this, none of this stuff uh, is is hard to do, but it's really smart. Anyway, let's see what's up. Can even kill? Oh, hey guys, how the hell did you get in? Uh, I have a copy of the key. Remember? Wait. That's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. Huh. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. Okay, true. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? <laughs> Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass, but remember, there are people that actually care about you, so don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Oh, isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Oh, shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss, why'd you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Oh, she didn't want to. Sorry, I, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? The hoodie's a fucking symbol of our love. Our love, Dana! Uh, partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd look totally cute with it. I, I, I see. I don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Uh, Right. Um, boss, about last night. I think I said one too many things, and, um... So what? Drunk banter is something you see every day. It's not like I'm gonna think less of you because of it. <laughs> Relax. If anything, I feel close to you after seeing you so wasted. I feel like this, too! As long as my friends aren't, like, shitty assholes when they're drunk, it's kind of, like, fun being around someone whose inhibitions are lowered in a safe way like you know like, this is why like it sucks being drunk around strangers but being drunk around your friends or having your friends be drunk around you like i love it when my friends drunk dial me i love it so much like when they call they're just like hey what's up buddy how you doing i know i know you don't like doing fun shit anymore ever you never go out you just stream with your streamer friends but listen man you're great and they're just they got these pretzels here five dollars Anyway, I love that shit. So, yeah, don't give it much thought. Stupid meat rods. Oh, God. Antenna's fine. Speaking of rods, did I miss anything? Nothing. Let's go. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine! Jesus Christ. I'm just bury myself in these delightful songs. Yeah, I like that one. You have 
return. What's up, Erebus? Welcome back. No, I already have renewed hope. No, I already have renewed. Ah, oh, God. All systems down. Time to mix drinks and change lives, and I totally didn't fuck it up that time. Oh, yeah. Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I, I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zone. Zane? I'm sorry, I can't read. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. I kind of already did that voice, that kind of like snooty British guy voice, I think. I gotta do something else. Tell her it's Brian. Uh, yeah, just, just a sec. Boss! Some brain guy's looking for you! It's not the brain guy from yesterday. Oh, sorry, Brian. His name is Brian. It's Brian. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um... Yeah, you heard her. It's... It's all right. I'll wait. Yeah. I'm getting it. It's, it's weird for someone to come in asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. You're pretty, Brian. I mean, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position. Anyway. Handle me like I'm just another client. Ooh, I'll handle you like a client, Brian. Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Brian Sensei? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. I'm gonna get Brian drunk. I'm gonna get Brian drunk. There you go. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Uh, why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough, you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender isn't very bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Uh, yup. Yeah. That's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me. Am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. He's, I'm kind of doing like a um, rescue 911. What's that guy's name? The guy that used to the guy that used to uh, to, to host Rescue 911. He was also the voice of um, Knock Off Optimus Prime. Um, God, why can't I remember anything right now? Uh, the guy that became in charge of the Autobot Matrix of Leadership after Optimus. Got killed, spoiler warning. But before Hot Rod took over? The fuck was that Transformer's name? God damn it. Um. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Ultra Magnus! His name was Ultra Magnus! Anyway, the voice that I'm doing is kind of like the actor that plays him. <laughs> Jesus, wow, that took me forever. I shouldn't, but you have the right to. Robert fucking Stack. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news, the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? 
It turns out the White Knights were the only one with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. Shadow runners, if you will. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knight can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes quite a bit of time to set up, it apparently has proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low-income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Oh, he must live in Vancouver. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really, why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though, especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I, um, can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book is a drink created here, right? Yeah, the suplex. It's named after our... I can make you one of those. Suplex. Get on the suplex train. What? How did I fuck that up? Oh, I didn't on the rocks it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three rocks. Mix. Stop. Done. Here you go. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile of driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Uh, so you're Robert. Robert Stack. Uh, yes! That, that, that is my name. I am Robert, the one and only. I'm Robert. Yep, Rob, or Bob, if you prefer. Robbie. Whatever you want to call me. Jill called you Gil, though. Um, uh, it's Argentinian slang. You have a cold. You hear battle is rattle. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff in the office. Come on in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Uh, no, not, not really. Although, if you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct order is a top-notch bartender. Now, if you'll excuse me. Whew. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Oh my god, I can't remember her accent. Uh, I think she was like Russian, or like like Transylvanian, right? Because of the thing. Right. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Just call me Stella, and give me a big beer, please. Yeah, 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 that was right. Yeah. A big beer. She wants big beer for big lady with Russian power. One, two, one. Shit, shit, reset. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Evet. Mix. Bir. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Oh my god, I only just now realized that the this this thing is her shoulder and not like a weirdly drawn hand. Oh my god. So she's standing with her arms out and she's got something under her arm, like she's wearing a cape or something? But I didn't realize that before and I thought that she had her like weird hand up like this. Oh my god, she looks so much better now. You know you know say, right? Yeah, of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair. Oh. Right, that. So she... She didn't show up on the list of massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say I had. Yeah, I figured this much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. <sighs> what does one do in these kinds of situations? Whoa, 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 it's freaking out. Let's give Stella something sweet to calm her down. Okay. Something sweet. Do I have anything sweet that's also calming? Sweet, classy, happy. Sweet, girly, happy. Sweet, girly, soft. Sweet, girly, happy. Sweet, girly, happy. Wow, they're all... Alright, well, let's make her a uh, blue fairy. Let's make her a clefairy. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Why is it doing that? No! What the hell? Ah, game! What are you doing? Alright, well here, we'll start at day six and we'll just jump ahead. Ah, that's so annoying. Oh, it just, you hold control? And it was just stuck on that. Oh my god. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so this is all the drinking. Oh, it's so far back, too. Shit. Do I have to drink? Because, like, will it... I guess it will. It'll affect my conversation. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. Okay, we're just gonna pound these drinks. Pound them. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Chug, chug, chug. Ten beers in a row. Twelve beers in a row. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's my fault for not saving, but... Oh, that's so annoying. Why would it... Ah... Just carry on with whatever alternate universe version that we had where we, all, we drank 12 beers in a row. Yeah, hold on a second, Dana. I have to drink these 12 beers. <laughs> Boss, pass me a funnel. Why would there even be a fast forward? Like don't understand. Okay. We're almost done drinking. I can't imagine why I would ever use something like that. 
Alright, we're gonna get drunk, we're gonna talk about dicks. Oh, it's for multiple playthroughs, so you can just like blast through stuff. Got it. That makes more sense, I think. Okay. Sure, but I can't. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna make yourself fall small. But yeah, pretty much the same conversation. By the Daruma. Go to work. All this dialogue is the same. She teases me. What's happening? Oh my god, stop that. Horrible. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go slow. It seems like it was still stuck. Alright, so skip ahead a bit of Brian and then we'll make Brian a drink. And we, there we go, and we make a uh, sugar rush for Brian and we made it more alcoholic. We'll start again when Stella gets here. That's a suplex. Four, one, two. Let's talk about Robert. There we go. Okay, we're back basically where we are. Uh, just call me Stella. I'll have a big beer, please. Big old beer. Big old beer for Stella. Hey. You know what I'm say, right? Yeah, of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Ooh. Right, that. So, she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping maybe you've seen her. Uh, as much as I'd love to say I had... Yeah, I figured this much. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. Huh, what does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe I can just fast forward this whole conversation somehow. Be a joke? Uh, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just uh, try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure. Uh,. Th there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on the edge. A private detective, I take it. Uh, yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What is his name? Uh, I believe it was Art Van Von Von Delay. Oh, the art guy. I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. 
Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. Uh, and right now I can't find any words or they sound hypocritical or useless or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you something else? Something sweet. That will help me calm down a bit. Yeah, gladly. Here. Here's booze will help. Thank you. Seems you really like say. Well, that's the hearsay, anyway. I don't have brothers or sisters, so my own... And my social interactions are usually, uh, Strictly business. So, say it's more, of a f more than a friend to me. She's, um... Oh, God, I'm sorry. I brought that up at a bad time. <laughs> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's... Someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can't be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustration. She's always been... there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar making other people do that job because I am a miserable pile of secrets. I'm sorry about the outburst. I'm, I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? F fresh air? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna take my break and y you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, then. Uh, Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. I think I saw that movie, Servicing Miss Stella. Uh, sure, leave it to me. Ah, oh, gosh, today is... I'm having the weirdest deja vu. Damn, is it chilly outside. I'm back. Eh? Mm, what would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. A uh, detective guy comes in. Cat Boomer girl greets in. They start talking, and everything was okay till the girl mentions Ibatsu Core. After that, the guy got riled up, started bad mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. Yeah, when you get down to it, it has the enhanced it has enhanced quality of life. Yes, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Lich City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big task group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know, and true, you have privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the middling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought a few benefits? Like what? In the AI integration program. They started this making huge advances in AI department. And every day more and more countries are seeing benefit of recognizing AI as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's little prism. AI went rogue, transfer a delivery drone, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. It's a fair point, but the program has proven to reform many AI. They don't brag about 88% success rate for nothing. 
Um, the city also has stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made more and more company bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who plant their feet on your face. Uh, but it also means more products are being brought to lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zaibatsu Corp main medical research branch also has made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have point, but people who cannot afford NERPs should not get NERPs. But also more jobs. All of companies coming down here to need personnel for making NERPs. So unemployment rate gone down by more than 40%. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's just... You see, it's just... Hey you, don't sit there, give me a zen star. Sure, dick. Let's make zen star for stupid baby. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ice, mix, stop, feed. Oh god. This is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained are limited to a few. William Gibson quote that I love about this very thing. The future is already here. It's just unevenly distributed. Augmented reality, already here. Only Americans can have it. I want my goddamn Pokemon Go. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are even more like an improvement in bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? Uh, I mean, that's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. <laughs> yes, mature, whatever. I'm going to take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. We haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, well, she managed to escape at some point, but the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. We only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. Oh, well, I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so he happened to come here today. The weird part is, the girl did enter the bank. It's like she, she vanished or something. Mm, I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. <sighs> if he's telling the truth, say might have found the way out. She is a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Yeah. Just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. On it. Too bad touches. Ah. There. Next. Oh, these are the different slots for the drinks. I see, okay. One, two, one, two, four. Okay, and then on the box. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that I came with, 
Uh, the guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people filmed that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Uh, girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um, what? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the least thing I'm worried about with say is people. Why, why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle, she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire all by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga. So in my understanding, Krav Maga is that martial art where you flip people on the ground and just punch them in the nuts until they die. Is that about right? And use it to hunt Nazis. So, something, something wrong? Shh. Quiet girl, it's okay. No, nothing, I just realized I forgot all about that. Say is not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's, well... I hope she's well, whatever the hell she is. She owed me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Von Delay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yes, order away. Okay, then I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine, get his order. One piano man for the detective. There you go. So, this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, miss. Oh, she. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. <laughs> you made my night with this discovery on say situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's, uh, that's it for me. Can I miss her, she? Oh, nay. That's it for me. Good night, Miss Hershey. Thanks again. Please, come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? <laughs> Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thank you. This place is, uh, soothing. I'll just sit over here near the arcade and lick myself. Alright then. That will be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with, um... Uh, Robert? Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall 6. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Huh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um, this holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. Say, you, uh... You guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. When you say it's more interesting than what? Well, it hung up. <laughs> All right. It's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have arrived yet again at the <coughs> uh, ma majestic hall of heroes. 
come until now. Oh, good, it's this guy. We meet again, bartender. No, he's southern, right? We meet again, bartender. It's too many voices. I gotta make a note. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said the same last time you were here. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. It's okay, this is a really fun voice to do. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys, winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling till it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the facility, vicinity, hyperventilating. That, um, I was out yogging. Dressed like that, and also to this 80s guitar solo. I can yog however I want. Uh, yeah, no, you, yep. We're gonna get you. Something fake. Uh, of course. Something fake. Something fake. Beer? This is a fake beer. I mean, if, yeah, no, let's, I'm gonna make him a fake beer. Because it's not actually beer, right? Nope, let's, oh, take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty close to the real deal. Okay, maybe there's something faker. Beer air sats. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, this one air sats. I mean, it's fake beer. Let's let's try this one. Uh, here, reset that shit. Aged, mixed. Here. And this is totally not beer. Oh, yes, just as fake as I want. Uh, say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Oh, Christ. Really? What do, you, what do you do there? I study everything that comes. I keep it clean for the people to visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Oh, really? Yes, he told me, stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Ha, <laughs> steam curator. <laughs> he still fails to realize I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize, too? I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. <laughs> I want purity. He wants purity. You can't give him pure ingredients. So... Something pure. I guess I'll just cycle through them. Uh, okay, tradition brewed beers become luxury. So unnecessarily brown. Oops, ah. Uh. I guess we go from the back. So Zen Star, Suplex. Old chocolate milk. 
Sweet Light and Fruity. Sparkle Star. A piano Woman. Moon Blast. It's kind of unbearable. I mean, yeah, like, the Zen Star has at least, like, four of each thing. So at least it's not imbalanced. Let's try that. Oh, God damn it! reset. I didn't on the rocks it. I guess the rum would also be... Maybe good, but it's not like. Hmm. Let's try this. How is this pure? That's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Yeah. Nope. I think I think that screwed it up. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, okay. He bought it. Huh? Hey, you. That guy over there. Yes, you. Have we met before? I can't... Sorry? I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think... Oh, no, 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 no. Nuh-uh. We have not met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Uh, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Careful out there, cat girl. Thanks. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Have we met someone before? That face. That eye. Uh, what about my eye, punk? We, have, we haven't met anywhere ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good, good talking to you, bartender. Did you just scare off a client? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Empty bar. Goodbye. Are we done for the day? Yeah, quite a few clients, considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? 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 <sighs> Gill stuff, don't worry about it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, uh, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we last met. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to um, explain the situation with uh, old old Robert here. He uh, agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? Uh, Part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Mmm suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yes it Must be nothing. It's nothing. Yay. We did it. We got a ton of money. Alright. Cool. Well, rather than starting another day, um, let's call that a, uh, a session. And we'll come back and do some more late night bartending uh, next time. Yeah? Let's uh let's save first. Let's not be dumb. I'm just gonna save. You can watch. You can watch me save. Oh yeah. Is that good? Is that good for you? Alright. We'll come back for more bartending next time. <laughs>